Okay, this is a video about uh, just a different way to make a sensitivity analysis. I've been doing my sensitivity analysis and scenario analysis in a very rigid kind of way. Now, what we can do here with all of these things is uh, use a uh, uh, drop-down boxes, create a base case, now, now, now we can create maybe a low case and a high case. Okay. And maybe in this case, I'm going to create a uh, case with, uh, with tracking and uh, a case high, uh, low, price case. Okay, I could create, of course, as many as I want. And let's wrap the text. Probably a nice shortcut to do that that I don't know about. But what's the matter with using the mouse sometime? Why did I used to be so rigid about these stupid little rules? Okay, now, first, let, let's um, uh, go to the uh, uh, courses and uh, go to the, oops, what happened here? I'm just uploading a video. Okay, and uh, let's go to our Excel utilities and get my um, generic macros. You know, I gotta fix this. I'm, I might fix that little, uh, and there are a couple of things to fix on this one, but you know, then I think it puts the add-ins here. No, it didn't. So what we have to do is go to Developer Macros and just run the thing that says Implement uh, Generic Macros. And then, whoops, oh, it took us to the first uh, thing. Now we can press Shift Control C at least. So these are all inputs. That's the problem a little bit. And these are inputs. So in our low case, maybe we have a. Uh, only 90% of our irradiation, our degradation goes up by 10% uh, 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 we'll leave the price of electricity, our O&M is, is, is higher and our contingency percent is, is, is uh, this one I had to uh, adjust so I said minus 50 so if we want to get 10% higher cost or 20% higher cost, we put 70. And if we want lower cost, we put uh, 40. And the debt percent will kind of leave, I don't know. Let's put a higher risk premium by 20% and let's put zero risk premium, okay? So, and then we could even copy, po copy this now I don't know about the tracking enough. Let's say we get another 20 from tracking. Let's say our cost per kilowatt of tracking is 20. And let's say we have an extra 200. And, okay. And let's say we have a the same thing, but we just want the price here of electricity to be... Uh, 50%. Okay. So, uh, you know, what I used to always do is use a code number and put equal index here and just get this. And then we could make all sorts of uh, data tables with our code number, all sorts of drop down boxes. But, you know, you know, here, what I did this time is said, okay, let's just reset all this to the base. Because what a lot of people like, like to do is mess around with, with variables and then reset it. And then we can go to the low case, reset it. It's a little bit like that custom case thing uh, uh, we do. Okay, now, um, to, to, to uh, let me just, I want to go over a couple of things 
for you because I don't have enough videos just on a simple implementation you know if you get the developer I've told you this in many videos but you go to options customize ribbon and you have to click on the developer that's number one if you want to put a little uh, uh, thing here remember the rule the rule is you make you draw a nice little picture you go to format control and if it's got a percentage you can go from 0 to 200 for for example so we could go down or up or something like that and then on the cell link you can't click on the percentage you click you click on this one but that would be very very bad very very bad you go to another sheet you could of course name the range but what a pain that would be and you you get the sheet name and that means you can move this to another sheet okay let's review I know it's too simple but get the developer tab go to insert uh, click on this one okay right click go to format control put a 0 to 200 um, go to a different sheet uh, back to this sheet click on the one you want okay and then the other thing you can do is if you'd like to copy it down uh, you can uh, uh, just copy it I guess okay you can even uh, 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 press control A after you click on one of these you can press control A and make them all smaller or all bigger okay I'm gonna not do that okay and when you copy it you can just instead of having to go do it manually each time you can just press the number three and it just uh, fixes that for you okay so that's the I wanted to, to make just a video on these forms that's a drop-down form I'm gonna make a different video I guess on a uh, let's reset this to the base case okay on a, a different form now this name I have this name as sensitivity okay this is sensitivity and I have this one as base case and to reset all the sensitivity values to the base case you make a little macro and in that macro you put you just can say okay first of all we better remember what sheet we're on then we're um, uh, uh, going to do this for the uh, uh, base case I, I mean uh, remember what sheet we're on excuse me then we have to be in this sheet and we go through e what this does it's a loop that starts with one and goes to each of the values of sensitivity how many we have and then it just says okay in row number this can only be of the row the sensitivity click it on the same row for the base case and then finally go back now uh, what we could do is is uh, do the same thing for the the uh, base case low case high case and why don't we uh, show you kind of how to do this now now uh, I have a few cases here so we can uh, select one two three four five and put equal transpose and uh, 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 press uh, this one and the reason we need to do that is we um, when you make a now I'm going to make a drop down box I said I wasn't but we will make a drop down box and we go to format control and exactly the same thing now you go to a different sheet back to the same sheet and you select the areas and this time you need a uh, code number okay no nothing fancy no stupid kind of talking like this is some sophisticated magic sh stuff 
all it does is give you a little number uh, and I'm going to even call this a code number okay now what we can do next is let's name all of these ranges to name all of these ranges at the same time you just select the area and then press shift control F3 all of the uh, uh, a range name macros, rap shortcuts, macros, shortcuts are shift control F3, shift control F3. So that means this one, that, see, it says low case. This, uh, you see, it says high case, okay? I hate range names, I hope you do too, but sometimes with macros we really need to, to use them. So. Now what we can do is if it's if this code number is 2, we want the low case. If it's 3, we want the high case. If it's 4, we want the base case. All right? So instead of resetting this to the base, what we'll do is when we click on this, it's going to reset all our our values here to the case, and then we can play with these things as much as we possibly want. Uh, you know, I Maybe oh shit, I should have shown you the end result, but I haven't done the end result yet. Now, what you do here is let's just, I'm going to, oh shoot, what happened to that one? Reset. Reset scenario. Okay, now we're going to assign this to this one, which will be much more effective. But all we do this time is let's look at this macro again. And then we'll put, uh, we put, and I haven't used this for like a year, select case and put range code. What this does is says, okay, uh, uh, the code number, we do something if it's one. Uh, and then we put, I think we put end select. Now, so far, it let me do it. Good. Okay. And then you just put case one. Okay. And, and whoops, we better, why don't I uh, kind of put this? So if it's one, we take the base case. And then if it's uh, two, we'll take the low case. And then, uh, so I didn't put two here. And then we uh, say if it's three, uh, we'll take the uh, high case. And then if it's uh, four, We'll take the with tracking case. Now, and of course, in case you didn't notice, I had forgot to uh, put these things in. Oh, shoot. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay, that was pretty stupid. Look how all, I'm just making these idiotic mistakes. This is low case. Okay. And then uh, this is uh, okay. This is the high case. And why do I get nervous? As if I, I just am showing you how stupid I am by making these mistakes, but you know, I kind of get nervous about this stuff. And then we can put with tracking. Okay, and you, I hope, get the idea that you could add as many as you want. Okay. Um, and case. Um, Five. This is the uh, uh, the low price case. Okay. Um, and then, uh, 
probably. So we go around. And if it's one, we fill in this, two, fill in this, and select. I hope that, you know, I, we probably could have put this outside of the range, but I don't think it makes really any difference. Now, what you're going to do is go to the our little button here and assign this uh, macro. I called it probably base values. Did, is that what I called it? Okay, I want to. My objective is to do this and have a macro work without having to stop the video. Let's see. Let's put low case. Ah, look at this. This might be the first time I've made a macro without it uh, really work. So, so now let's see if it really works. So let's copy this and put it in a summary page where we have all our little buttons. Okay, I'm going to be really aggressive. I'm going to cut cut this one out. So if we want to reset everything to the base case, we do this and then we can put a contingency value in and see see what happens. Those IRRs are ridiculous and not realistic, but you can uh, do this and see what happens if you issue different debt in the different cases and see what happens if you put uh, tracking in which I didn't do very carefully and put a low price case and so we put our base case back okay and that's that that's sensitivity